don't apologize to you, but it's too late. I just wanna say, I miss you, baby. Ohio gozaimas, watashi no namai dois, nihon ski des. So by now you guys are probably wondering, why is he speaking in Japanese? Well, my name is Dois John, this is Heather Skipper, my special guest co-host, and we are here live from Japan Week going on in New York. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna check out some fashion, fun, technology, and food. Are you ready for this, Heather? Of course I'm ready, it's Japan Week, woo! Awesome. So stay tuned, guys, and let's get it. Hey, guys. Joyce John here at Japan Week, and I'm actually here with Chicago, who is the director of Japan Week, who is going to actually um, show us how they're making candy here by hand. He's actually, if you check it here, he's crafting it really nicely. How's it going tonight, Chicago? Yeah, there's uh, actually, he came from Japan. It's the, this uh, uh, call is Ame Zaiku. It's a, a candy crafting shop. It uh, existed uh, in Japan 100 years ago. It's, uh, everybody buying this candy for the kids on the street. Wow, so he makes it all by hand. Um, and actually, w what different shapes is he making here? Oh, he can make any kind of shape. And animal, and fruits and any kind of the you request that he can make it wow. but right now this is really like a traditional artisanal form okay. uh, it's only 20 people exist in Japan wow. so w will you ask him what his favorite shape to make is he likes a dinosaur he likes a oh is this the dinosaur here Is, uh, is the T-Rex very um, kawaii? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, and here, can I actually try a piece of the candy? I think I would say uh, candy o tabe tai desu ka? Tabe tai desu, because ka means question, right? All right, so yeah, can I actually try a piece? I think the... I think it's a little bit soft right now, okay. so you have to wait a little bit. All right, guys, so we're waiting here to try the candy, but I definitely encourage you to come on down to Japan Week and check out this awesome candy maker. If you, He's making really cool shapes. We've got a T-Rex here and a couple other things. So definitely check us out here at Japan Week, and we'll check you out soon. guys so we've reached the end of our adventure in Japan week and we're gonna finish it off with some of this great sake but Heather why did you give this to me in a box? Doris didn't you know that sake traditionally comes in a box in Japan? Isn't that obvious? Okay you learn something new every day hey I don't care what it comes in as long as there's sake in there right? That's right can't wait to drink it. So Heather we had so much fun today I mean I, I got a chance to check out the Seiko watches I got candy made for me. What did you check out? I checked out model trains from the DC Model Train Club. I also checked out the cubby hole and the Delta seats, as well as the new translation app on the Google Play Store. Wow, so now you can find love in Japan and not even have to learn Japanese, huh? That's right, can't wait to get over there and check it all out. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Heather, for being my special guest co-host. And guys, you've been watching Couch TV covering Japan Week. I'm Doyce John, and have a good night.